You're watching Adorama TV. Hi everybody, welcome to this week's episode of Adorama TV iPad App Reviews. Well, I love travel and free stuff and photography, and this week we have an iPad app that combines all three of those things. It's called Travel Magazine, T-R-V-L, and it's all about traveling all over the world and the photography that you can make while traveling. So let's take a closer look at travel. Travel is an awesome magazine. Again, it's free. So we're going to start over here at the store. And in the store, you can download the free issues. So not all of the issues are free, but almost all the issues are free. So there are some that are uh, special editions, like the truth about Afghanistan. That's $2. But I think that's the only one in here I've seen that is actually one that you have to pay for. So you can just go through here. There's some shots of Burma or New York or South Africa, Venice. There's all these different places. And then once you have something that you want to download, you just click this little button here that says free. And it says, do you want to download this? And you say download. And it goes over here to your issues. And then it starts downloading. And it's pretty darn quick. We'll let this download really fast and then we'll keep going. All right, now that's just loading in, and so now we have this uh, Cambodia magazine that we can look into. So let's start, though, by looking at the Arctic Cruise magazine, and what we can do here is we can zip in here. This is horizontal and vertical, so it uh, will change its orientation based on the iPad. And what we can do is we can go in here and we can look at the pages, and that allows us just to sort of zip through the magazine and see the different pages that are in the magazine, and once you have that, then you can click on it and see you know, the beautiful photography that this uh, magazine has. And on a lot of these, there's a little icon that you can click, and it will actually show you the shutter speed, the aperture value, the ISO, and the camera that was used, the lens that was used, who shot the photo, and one of my favorite features is this little globe. So when I click on the globe there, it would say, I'm not gonna allow it, it will go to an exact location of where this photo was taken. So you can see that on uh, in Google Maps and you can see exactly where all this stuff was taken. And of course you can look on a satellite or you can convert this over to a map if you want to. And so you can see exactly where images are made, which is really cool. So if you want to go and try to do this yourself, you can. So I can close that and can zip through here. Again, I can go through and look at all the different pages and get right to where I want to go to see some of these amazing images. Um, and then look and see exactly what it is. But it's not just photos. Um, in addition to the photos, there are a lot of articles, so you can read about the travels and what's happening. Um, you can see what people are doing in each of these different places. You can read about how the photos were made and what they were doing and the expeditions and sort of the missions that they were on. And so you get all the information about the photo in addition to the adventure that the people were taking when they took the, the uh, photo. Now, you also have this thing called a photo report. If I click on that, then you can zip through here and see all these different photos and see exactly uh, what this photo is about and all the different settings. And so that's really, really nice. And then if you really want to be interactive with this stuff, you can click on the Facebook icon and that will take you right into Facebook. And then if you want, you can log in obviously and then have an interaction with other people who are reading the Travel iPad magazine, which I think is pretty cool. So all the, uh, the uh, social media stuff is built right in there. And one of the things I really like as well is in a lot of these magazines, uh, you can zip down here sort of toward the end. You can actually write a review. And so that way you can tell other people what the magazine is like. And so they have that option as well. And so other people can sort of enjoy what you're seeing as well. So let's zip back to the magazine. All right, you can see that here we are. And this uh, review page is at the end of all of the magazines, which is great. So you can help other people see uh, what you're enjoying about this magazine and make sure other people can learn about it. Um, and I can go back here to the pages and we can zip back through and see uh, more things. Now the nice thing about this is just not still. There's also video embedded in a lot of these as well. So here's a time lapse on Northern Lights. Here's a, a nice video about uh, beneath the Arctic. So if I play that, it's going to connect to Vimeo. And then if I want to, I can take this and make sure it goes to full screen. Just like that. And now I can watch this image, that's, uh, this video about uh, being beneath the Arctic. And so there's the polar bears and all that kind of stuff. So we're not going to watch this right now, but you could. And you can even airplay that to an Apple TV if you have it or any of the normal things you can do with your iPad. It's a really amazing magazine.
Well, that's Travel Magazine for the iPad. And as you can see, it's very educational and inspirational. You can learn all about different cultures and places all over the world and see how photos were made by other photographers. And even with all the interactive stuff, you can uh, learn to make maybe some new friends who are photographers and communicate via Facebook. It's awesome and it's free. So why not download it right from the App Store today? Well, thank you so much for joining me this week. Remember, if you have a suggestion for an iPad app that you'd like me to take a look at, you can send your suggestion to me at askmark at adorama.com. Well, I'll see you again next week. This episode is brought to you by Adorama TV. Visit the Adorama Learning Center where you'll find photography tips and techniques, links to the gear used in this episode, and related videos. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit adorama.com. And the next time you're in New York City, visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.